Welcome to Team Wild's Air Power, the coolest air gun show on the web. Here at Team Wild, we love our air guns and we love pushing them to their limits. One of our favourite big bore air guns is the Benjamin Rogue 357, and I've been using that bad boy all over the globe, taking down some big game animals. A red hartebeest in South Africa, a Texan feral hog, and even a rampaging armadillo that was terrorising Texas have all fallen to this air power behemoth. If you haven't seen those videos yet, click on the links. This week I'm back in Texas, once again helping out with a management hunt on a ranch. They've got a gnarly old Jacob's 400 ram that's well past its breeding age and causing problems with the other sheep in the herd. He's fighting, headbutting and causing all manner of mischief and generally being a nuisance to the others in the herd. So it's time for him to go. We head out through the brush and towards the usual feeding ground of the herd of mixed sheep. It's a warm Texan day, so the sheep won't be moving too far from their usual patch, as they're still wearing a fairly thick coat. We get near to the herd, and there's a beautiful mix of Texas-style sheep and Mufon cross rams, and a few Jacob's forehorns. You can see the younger ones are in much better condition than the old gnarly ones. We move in closer to check out one of the rams, but it's not our guy. Our boy is old, with a slightly broken horn and a thick, gnarly dreadlock coat. We move around the herd to find another beautiful ram, but again, it's not our guy. As the herd has spread through this patch of trees, there's plenty of cover to move around undetected, but we still have to be careful that we aren't spotted. Then something spooks them, and they all trot off. The herd begins milling around nervously, not too far away from us. Then we spot our ram, causing trouble. He runs alongside another sheep and tries to butt him. He's a gnarly old boy, but he's also big trouble. As the herd all run along, I try and set my sights on the ram, but moving through the trees, it's not an easy shot, so I hold fire. A little patience will be rewarded, and a shot will eventually come. I'm moving closer, but our ram is moving amongst the other sheep and behind the trees. I need him away from the others for a clear and safe shot. I move again. The small break-off group from the herd of rams he's been moving with has stopped, but he's circling another sheep. The small group moves on again, and I move with them. As they slow and then stop, I move into position behind a tree. Our ram has stopped, broadside and away from the others. This is my chance. I take aim, pick my spot, but a twig breaks under my knee and they're off again. I reposition and keep my eyes on him. He hasn't gone far when he begins to slow. I make a dash down the tree line after our ram. He stopped just behind a fallen tree, but I've got a clear shot. I get into position once more and take my shot. A great shot from the rogue takes him straight down. He's definitely not getting back up from that one. I head in to take a closer look at our gnarly old ram. Another management job executed perfectly by Team Wild and another phenomenal takedown from the Benjamin Rogue 357. So, what a beautiful ram. Now, as you can see, I can't exactly see where the entry wound is, but we can see there, there's plenty of blood. He's uh, blood out from the lungs. It's quite, quite shiny. So you'd have to say that's probably a double lung shot they see when we open up. Plenty of blood around the mouth. So what a, what a beautiful four-horned ram. Good sized horns at the bottom there. One's been broomed off at the top, obviously where he's been feeding or, or rutting. You saw him um, when he was in with the herd there, trying to rut those other Texas doll sheep and, um, and mouflon cross rams. In fact, he looks like a little bit of a bad boy because there's loads of scarring around his face. But what an incredible animal. And look at the size and thickness of this coat. Now that has got to be two and a half inches potentially of absolute solid near bulletproof armor. But the Benjamin Rogue 357, as you saw, cut straight through it. Once again, we'll have to have a look um, when we open them up as to exactly where it hit, but I'm pretty sure we've made a decent job of it. So, boys and girls, Mutton is back on the menu tonight. 
To find out more about the awesome Benjamin Road 357 Big Bore Air Rifle, visit crossman.com. Tune in next week to Team Wilds Air Power when I'll be taking a closer look at the amazing new Benjamin Marauder Woods Walker Carbine. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best airgun videos on YouTube and our all new lineup of daily shows for 2013.